Greetings, this is Gynthian, and we are here on the Kingdom Chronicles server. We are at spawn, and it's morning, so you can see through the windows the mobs burning in the sunlight. The villager is here because that block next to him is the new loom, and that is his workstation, so this is where he goes to work in the morning. Is it just me, or did that villager just open the door to let me out like he was kicking me out? At least that's what it looked like to me. I don't know if they put that into the AI. Oof! What he did do is leave the door open. What he did do is leave the door open so that a skeleton could come in and start shooting me. While I'm trying to take out this skeleton, let me go on to remind you that I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. This is not going well. Every time I try and hit him, I take damage. The only damage that I'm able to do is when I get at the right distance and bounce the arrow off my shield and it flies back and hits the skeleton. Otherwise, it wouldn't be taking any damage at all. And I have to be at exactly the right distance for that to work. He's going to kill me. And I died. I have to go back in to finish the fight. Scoop up my stuff. I'm really kind of surprised that the villager is still alive. Okay, I'm going outside to put on the armor so I don't get killed immediately in this fight. Why would the villager go back in? Okay, let's go back in and finish this. Okay, now that that's taken care of, I gotta say this was not one of my better battles. Okay, some time has gone by and I am working on an anvil. As far as that last battle goes, I've done worse, but I feel like I should be doing better fighting a single skeleton. And if I make three iron blocks out of this iron, then there it is. The new crafting recipe for a anvil pops up. I love the sound this makes. And now that we have an anvil, we can repair this iron sword. Let's look outside. It's nighttime, or the sun's going down, so it is time to get some sleep. Hey, did you notice that villager didn't come back? We look outside. I don't see him around out here. He definitely, well, he should have found a bed by now, so maybe he's just in another bed. Not to worry. But I'm worrying.
So we just woke up and actually several days have gone by. Notice some changes around here. First big change is I want to show you that I worked on the mine. And what used to be just a hole in the ground now has a staircase that goes all the way down. This has allowed me to get lava with lava buckets and water buckets and some glass. I have started the next project, which is to create a portal to the nether. Each obsidian has to be created with a lava source, which you put in first, followed by water on top, and that will create the black obsidian stone we need. We keep continuing this process until we've built all of the blocks, obsidian blocks, needed to make a nether portal. Okay, looks like I need to do one block on either side. This is the sides of the nether portal. And then I have to do the three blocks of obsidian across the top. And that would make this complete. And I also just ran out of obsidian. I should say ran out of lava and water and glass. So let me go get those and I'll show you how we can finish this up. First, we're picking up the glass. And then we are gonna go down to the bottom of the mine where I have found lava. And I have lava buckets, or I should say empty buckets. And we'll get that and I'll be right back. We got the lava and we're back up top and now we can build the rest of this nether portal. Just put the lava in here and then we'll do the water, which I happen to not have on me, but there's a water source down here where I can get a water bucket and fill it up. Then we can take it back up and move on. Let's just finish boxing this in with glass and then we can use the water. Finally, there are three pieces of obsidian across the top of the nether portal. We can do that with three lava buckets and then the water. And I believe we just finished creating a nether portal, which all we have to do now is remove some of the glass and then we can activate it. Before we continue, we have something else we have to talk about. Some of you may have noticed this symbol right here. This symbol indicates the bad omen effect. And you get this by killing the captain of a raid. This is the pillager that is carrying the banner. A group of pillagers wandered through the village and I killed one while I wasn't recording my screen and I got the effect. And I got the banner, which I proudly hang as a trophy. The other important fact to remember is the bad omen effect causes a raid to appear if a player is in a village or enters a village while the effect is on. I wanted to take the time to explain this because it will become important to gameplay later. Now, we were working on lighting the nether portal. Let's get back to that. Well, I don't have any flint for the flint and steel to light the portal. So you get flint from gravel. I'm going to place the gravel down and then dig it back up and repeat the process until I get some flint. Nice view from up here. Got the flint, crafted a flint and steel. Now all we have to do is light this portal. It's lit and works. 
and now without any planning to the consequences or preparations let's just step through 